that act went on, we were right in the screens. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Colasso going to, um, right to the head, controlling the head position. And, and he will um, he will do just about anything from anywhere. I mean, he's, he's, he's an exciting athlete. Um, and, and he loves to score on his feet. I mean, I would expect that he's going to go out right now and, um, and, and look to put on a, a takedown clinic. I mean, that's the type of athlete that he is. I can ask to make an answer for everybody who's taking pictures of their wrestlers or sons on the podium. The blues are five in the country. Joe Galasso, Father Joe. The far end of the uh, match. We cannot have anybody Senior. come in front of the table here. We're going out through the back hallway here. So and he's headed to Cornell. So, the um, front, the you know what's going on there. Mitch Dave got a great uh, program up in Italy, New York. Thank you. Um, those guys are doing a tremendous job. Um, not only just with coaching, but also their um, their, their training strategies and methods. I mean, they, they found a way to um, coach different styles of athletes. So, so Cornell, is, he's done a good job with that. I mean, they got um, Nashawn Garrett is a different type of um, athlete, and they've done a great job with him. Had, um, um, national champion Kyle Dake is a different type of athlete. They've done a great job with him, obviously. Um, so, um, the father judge brought up here, uh, Joey Galasso heading into a good situation up in Ithaca. Looking for a little dump, uh, getting stuck there. I would, these are these are some spots that even even though um, Dempsey let him get out of that, that's a situation where he he could get pinned there at the collegiate level. Uh, those collegiate athletes do not allow you to get away with dropping down to both knees with your head on the mat um, as easily. Um, so those are things that he'll grow into even through his uh, freshman year. And sometimes some athletes in, in, they grow through their sophomore year as well. Um, but I think Joey's um, up to the task. I think uh, you give him a, a freshman year at Cornell, a nice red shirt, and he'll he'll be on his way. Got a stolen call for Dempsey. Um, Galasso doing most of the work here. Got 10 seconds left, end of the first period. Galasso, high single head position. That was nice. That was really nice. Good defense by Dempsey. Underhook by Dempsey. Um, so he's good. Dempsey, Dempsey gave up an early deuce, but um, his, his um, staved everything else off so far. So um, we got a 2-1 score here heading into the second period. Dempsey underneath. Lasso probably will let him up. I mean, he's more of uh, the takedown type. Not gonna spend too much time on top. So we got a uh, open stance double by Dempsey. Head drop, both knees on the mat. So um, rightfully so, he can get points off of that. Colasso um, right back into clubbing the head, getting some weight on uh, Dempsey's head and trying to move Dempsey's feet around. We're not allowed to come in front of the head table here. We have a lot of equipment. Right leg lead by Dempsey. Left hand comes up for the collar tie. And he's switching his feet a little bit. So let's see if Galasso is um, is is um, keen to that and, and has an answer to that on what type of shot he'll be taking. Got the Iranian snap. Doing a good job with that. I'd like to see him cover some ground, create an angle once he gets him down. I mean, he's, he's done that to Dempsey a couple times, so he knows it'll work, but now he has to be able to do something off of it. 2-2. We got a one minute, uh, one minute left in the second period. Dempsey is doing a great job keeping Galasso off of his legs. And even um, one of the times that Galasso did get in, uh, Dempsey did a good job underhooking it and bringing his body weight up. So um, he, he's game right now, and then Galasso is not being as active on his attacks as I'm used to seeing. Um, he's got a lot of snaps going on, but I haven't seen him attack like I uh, normally see. So Dempsey is doing a good job strategically uh, keeping Galasso at bay. Head and hooks. Head and hooks. Yes. 
There he is again. Dempsey with the underhook again. He's going. You see, he switches his legs a lot. Um, and I, that might be confusing um, the lasso for the most part. Uh, it might be throwing him off that he really can't get a feel for what leg he's going to leave. So let's see what Dempsey does. He likes to go righty. He goes left hand to the collar tie. Boom. So, and he'll switch his feet again, though. See, there he is again. He goes back to the left. There's right leg, collar tie left, and then he'll switch his legs back. So that's what really seems to be, at this point, what's throwing um, Galasso off because he's not really getting settled on what leg to attack. Galasso's going underneath, third period, 2-2 score. Blair Academy kid, uh, Dempsey, is, uh, he's been very game thus far. Very game. Galasso, number four, in the, uh, excuse me, number five in the country by Intermat. All right, Galasso is coming up. And uh, we're going to have a 3-2 score. Um, Dempsey's pretty much given the same look every time. So I'm not sure. Uh, Colasso needs a collar tie counter off to his right side. Um, so right now we're going to go right leg lead, left hand collar tie by Dempsey. Boom. So he's been doing that the whole match. And we haven't quite had a... Um, we haven't really had Galasso to figure that out. So within the first two or three seconds of this whistle blowing, um, Dempsey's going to go right leg lead, left hand collar tie, and then Joey won't answer that. And then so we need, need to be able to have an answer to that so that it's not slowing the match down um, if, if you don't want the match slowed down. I don't think Colasso wants the match slowed down, so it'd be in his uh, uh, benefit to uh, come up with an answer to that. Here's Dempsey again, right leg lead, left arm collar tie. And he'll try an underhook, which is even slowing the match down even more. He's been doing a good job with that. 3-2. It seems like um, Dempsey is good at keeping this match close, but he's going to have to come up with his own attack to win it. So that, be, that, that poses a little different problem because it's, it's one thing to hang, but it's another thing to actually go after a situation and win it. So uh, if it stays as is, Galasso wins this match. Right leg lead, left arm collar tie. Right leg lead, left arm collar tie. And uh, those whistle is going to blow, and we're going to surprisingly see a right leg lead, left arm collar tie. So I'm not sure why Galasso is allowing that to uh, sustain throughout this match. Um, good job by Dempsey, pushing the pressure a little bit. He's got 34 seconds left. He's down by one. Obviously, a takedown will put him in great shape. Both knees head down, and that's not going to win most matches. So now we got a stall call. Um, so he's got 25 seconds. He can manufacture a point and tie this thing up if he puts enough pressure on Galasso. Left, uh, left arm collar tie. He goes to an underhook. He's been trying that underhook this match. Nice level. Just see, I would love to see Dempsey doing that stuff earlier. I really would have. Um, and I, I'll tell you one thing that we do strategically is uh, in my room, the, the way you see guys wrestle when they're losing by one or two in the last 20 seconds, I train my kids to wrestle like that for six minutes in high school, seven minutes in college. To wrestle the whole match like that. Um, that intensity is what um, is, is what wears opponents down. Um, that was a good match by, by Dempsey for, for, um, from a lot of perspectives, but he has to come up with, a, with an offensive attack that'll put some points on the board. Um, and uh, Galasso uh, holds serve here. He's number, number five.